Welcome back to Shit Half Demon Princess Anime Review, episode number five. This one, I believe, let's see, yeah, six episodes of the series, The Cat One and The Old Temple. Yeah, another episode felt like there was a re- went by really quickly. This one, yeah, that's the way it's been the last couple episodes. It felt as though it's like, by the way, I was like, really? That's it? Okay. So, the episode starts off with basically, well, the, with them, kind of what happened, what happened last week, where I turned over the head of the demon, a demon they killed to the bone collector, who, I think for a small amount, it's like, okay, it's like, that's not enough, but, like, of course he asked about, of course, Toa asked about the dream butterfly, and explains exactly what, what, what the dream butterfly did to the Setsuna. Like, okay, I never heard about it. I'll I'll ask around. He's like, Do you have a sign He's like, Yes. Need you go to the te- need you go to the to the mountains north of here and find out what's going on with these missing people, like why are people disappearing and, and involving cats. Ghost cats. So, since it's mountain to the village to the village, they they go there and they ride a bicycle. Yes, they ride what appears to be Kagome's bicycle. Yep, Kagome's bicycle. And of course, you have Toa up doing the, the driving and thing. You have sets nuts in the back, and Motorha standing in the front in the basket while listening to an MP3 player. Yeah, she must have brought it with her from the future. So, of course, Toa says to get off the bike so she can at least maybe, maybe sit down so she can see where she's going. And you have nearly running over a little girl. Yeah, looking off that. Toa seizes right away and basically uses the brakes on the bicycle to avoid it. It ends up crashing the tree, though the bike is perfectly fine anyways. And they have giving the, the little girl some food because apparently her parents have been neglectful to her because they're obsessed with cats. Yes, cats. Apparently her village is infested by cats. Excuse me. It turns out to be ghost cats. Which they beat really easily. And it turns out these cats were... Brainwashing them to basically pay attention to them compared to their own freaking children. And of course, like, oh, you came back. Cool. Yay. And of course, they'll investigate the mountain. And of course, she says goodbye to her, though. She doesn't pat her on the head like she probably would. She probably. It seems like she wanted to pat her on the head, but she probably didn't. So she just walked away. And that's that for that. They go to the cat temple and they meet the monk who looks like a singer that sets us a. a little sister basically is a fan of like he looks exactly like him except he's got that like, camera hair so like you mentioned like is anything you mentioned about travelers staying there and this of course is very typical for a few other japan basically where people will stay at temples basically for a certain period of time and we're moving on to the next location even happens in your shotgun jimbo where he would occasionally stay at temples yeah if you read the actual comic itself he would in fact make a stop at a temple just to briefly stay there for like a day or two before he leaves or deals with a threat to basically come across or he stays at a local inn so it turns out the monk explains that that the previous headmaster apparently 100 years prior to the, of the series that a monk killed the cat demon and put its bones basically encased them in a seal Underneath the, the the floorboards of the temple, okay, and possibly that's where the ghost cats come in. So they have to spend that at the at the temple. Moha basically goes to sleep. Where Sensei can't sleep because she can't dream at all because the dream's taken away from her by the dream butterfly. And they're asleep, and then they're attacked by cats. They come out. Monk figures what the heck is going on, and of course. Then we have Moha Setsuna basically go out, go check the remains of the ghost cat. Which turns out they were freed, and of course the ghost cat transpected with normal size. Meanwhile, though, it turns out that Juan was possessed by the ghost cat after some convincing that they shouldn't kill the monk, so she uses her basically her own sword to basically free him from possession and destroys the cat spirit. Though they basically took part of the, the, the cat's paw back to the collector. And she got, and of course, Mohawk basically got very little money out of it. And like, can you give us some bigger jobs, please? And that's where the episode ends. Next week, from what I can tell, leads into the pilot, which that's going to be interesting. 
Yes. Now, for right online, this actually is a this whole episode is adapted from a chapter that was never adapted for Final Act. Yeah, for some reason they skipped it. Now, my guess is that Toa must be taking the place of Kagome in the story, and Setsuna and Moha must take the place of Inuasha. And probably Moroku. I'm thinking probably Sango must stay behind too. Somewhat in the original story. I don't really remember. It's been a while since I read it. Mm -hmm. This was a good episode to say the least. But not one of those like monster of the week type of things. But at least they adapted from canon source material. Just switched out the characters from Inuasha for the characters of this series. But it's fine. It's not really a big issue. But it's a pretty interesting episode. You can kind of think of it as sort of like a standalone filler. Though at least next week, looks like we're probably going to get some progression here. Yeah, that's at least like probably the last couple of episodes. feel as though like they're just, they go by a little too quickly. Though at least the pacing was a bit slowed down here. It's not like, bam, it's like like over like really quickly, like the way it was last week. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's not much else to say about this new episode. Now, that's going to be it for this particular video. Next video is going to be Fire Force. And then, is it wrong to be ghouls? In a dungeon. Yes, I'm discussing the pencil episodes of the season for that. Yeah. Yeah, I believe it was like one episode left after this week's episode for that series. And then pretty much, yeah, it's basically I'm breaking until whenever the next season comes out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and of course, videos aside from those two, yeah, that'd be pretty much it. I have nothing else planned for it today, okay? Do the next video. Bye.